Hello, happy friends. Are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah, and today we're going to learn about the largest shark ever to exist. Today, we're going to meet the megalodon, the whale-eating shark. The megalodon was a giant shark that lived within the Earth's seas. It became extinct over two and a half million years ago, but investigators still don't know why. We have a lot to discover about the megalodon. This gigantic shark measured 20 meters long and weighed up to 50 tons. That's 50,000 kilos. Megalodons would primarily feed from whales, turtles, and smaller sharks. It's used to catch its prey with its humongous mouth. It had 280 sharpened and gigantic teeth. Apart from being the largest fish that has ever existed, remember that sharks are fish. We also know that they could live up to a hundred years. We know this thanks to the fossils that have been found. Although there are some people that think that the megalodon still exists, investigators completely deny this. Also, they are sure that they were extinct over 2 million years ago. The closest living relative to the megalodon is a white shark. This shark is also a great hunter. It can reach 7 meters long and weigh 3,000 kilos. Looking at the white shark up close and knowing that the megalodon was much bigger than this, we can just imagine how scary it was. <gasps> Goodbye, happy friends. See you next time. I hope you're always ready to learn. <laughs> Goodbye. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Did you know that the biggest shark that has ever existed was the Megalodon? This gigantic beast had a length of 20 meters and weighed 20 tons. The Megalodon lived nearly 20 million years ago and disappeared 2 million years ago. It is considered as one of the most powerful predators of history of the vertebrates. And their favorite prey were sea mammals, such as whales, the dolphins. It is a shame that the megalodon has disappeared, but to be honest, it would have been really scary. By the way, did you know that its name originated from Latin and it means big tooth? Did you know that sharks can have thousands and thousands of teeth in their lifetime? Sharks have their denture distributed in layers. When a tooth breaks, immediately it is replaced by the layers above. In general, sharks have between 5 and 15 lines of teeth, although the first line is the most important and it is what they usually eat their prey with. Many scientists have assured us that sharks can have up to 30 million teeth during their lifetime. Did you know that sharks don't stop swimming? Not even for when they need to sleep? This is because of two reasons. The first 
is because of their breathing. Whilst sharks swim, they maintain their mouth open. This way, the water that contains a lot of oxygen passes through their gills and absorbs the oxygen to be able to breathe. The second reason is that, differently from all fish, sharks don't have a swimming bladder, a kind of internal float that fills with air and allows them to float even though they are still. It sounds weird, but it is true. If a shark stops swimming, it will fall to the bottom of the ocean and drown. Although, the sleeping fish is always eaten by the shark. Great! You've completed the video. Now continue the route with the reading card, the video game, and the activity. Hello, friends. Welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we're going to learn about one of the most famous and scary fish. Let's introduce you to the shark. The first thing we should know about sharks is that they are fish, and like all fish, they have gills that allow them to breathe underwater. The body of the fish is covered with scales, and in the case of the sharks, their scales are so hard and rough that in older times their skin was used as sandpaper. There are so many types of sharks, almost 400. Some are as small as 15 centimeters. They're as small as a mobile phone. And others, such as the whale shark, can reach up to 14 meters long. They are longer than many of the lorries that can be seen on the roads. There are also sharks with somewhat bizarre bodies, like these hammerhead sharks. Sharks are carnivores and are characterized by being very good hunters. They use their excellent sense of smell and their strong jaws full of razor sharp and pointed teeth to hunt. Because they use them so much, their teeth tend to fall out very easily. But it's not a problem for them because they grow back very easily. During their lifetime, they can have as many as 30,000 teeth. That's just incredible. Another interesting fact about sharks is that they can go without eating for six weeks, roughly a month and a half. That's why sometimes they are so hungry. Sharks are cartilaginous fish, which means their skeleton is made of cartilage instead of bone. The most famous of all sharks is undoubtedly the great white shark. The great white lives in warm waters and can weigh from 700 up to 1,100 kilos. Its body is large and robust. It's a little scary, isn't it? The whale shark is the largest of all, not only of the shark family, but also of all the fish that live in the sea. It weighs 20 tons, around 20,000 kilos. It also has a high life expectancy, living between 70 and 100 years. Well, that's if we let them live in peace. Did you know that sharks are in serious danger of extinction? There are many species of sharks that are on the brink of extinction, and that puts all the oceans of the planet at risk. In order to be healthy, the oceans and seas need to have enough sharks to maintain the balance of populations between different species. Without this balance, we don't know what will happen, but nothing good, that's for sure. That's why we have to take care of them. We mustn't throw garbage and plastics into the sea, and we have to always protect nature, picking up anything that can harm it. Because if we defend nature, 
we defend all life and living beings, including ourselves. Well, you have already learned some important things about these wonderful fish, the sharks. Aren't they just fascinating animals? Goodbye, friends. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello, friends, and welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today, we're going to talk about some animals that existed 65 million years ago. I am sure you have heard about the dinosaurs, and I'm certain you have seen them in many films and cartoons featuring dinosaurs. But not everything that is told in these films is correct. So if you don't mind, let's find out what they are really like and how they lived. The first thing we need to understand is that people and dinosaurs never lived together. The dinosaurs lived before human beings existed and they roamed the earth for approximately 135 million years. That's a really long time. They were the dominating vertebrates. Nowadays, more than 500 different species have been identified thanks to bones and fossils found. All dinosaurs were oviparous, meaning they reproduced by laying eggs. But there were huge differences between them. Some were very small, while others were absolutely enormous. So as to learn about them better, we have divided them into two major groups, Ornithischia and Cerischia. What complicated names they have! The Ornithischia, or bird-hipped dinosaurs, were herbivore which means they only ate plants. The most well-known was the Triceratops. They were impressive, huh? The Cerischia, or lizard-hipped dinosaurs, were the ancestors of the crocodiles and lizards. Among these species, they were carnivores and herbivores, and with them then, the two most famous dinosaurs, the Diplodocus and the Tyrannosaurus. The Diplodocus was the largest dinosaur. In 1907, an entire skeleton was found measuring 27 meters. Although remains of these specimens have been found exceeding 50 meters. In these images, you can observe just how enormous they were. The Tyrannosaurus was and still is the most fearsome predator which has ever existed on our planet. It was more than 4 meters high and could be up to 12 meters in length. In its mouth, it had 60 razor sharp pointed teeth and it could run 65 kilometers per hour. The truth is, I would be absolutely petrified if I would come across such an animal. But wait a minute, how is it possible that such large and powerful animals completely disappeared off the face of the Earth? Currently, the investigators are focusing on two big theories. The first is based on the impact of an asteroid or comet from outer space. The other theory maintains that the cause of the dinosaur's disappearance was due to a period of enormous volcanic activity. We actually still don't really know the truth. But what we do know with absolute certainty is that right now, at this very moment, there are still many animals in great danger of being extinct and could even disappear. All of us can help them survive. How? By respecting nature, recycling, contaminating the least bit possible, buying only what we really need. If we make these efforts, 
we will be able to live in a much healthier planet. And we, at the same time, will be ensuring that no animal, not a single one, will ever be in danger of extinction again. Let's hope with everybody's help, we can make it. Goodbye, friends. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Great. You've completed the video. Now continue the route with the reading card, the video game, and the activity. Hello, friends, and welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today, we're going to learn about the crocodile, a very carnivorous reptile. As we all know, crocodiles are reptiles, and like all reptiles, their body is covered in scales. Thick, hard scales, which protect the animal, serving as its armour. Crocodiles appeared on Earth 200 million years ago, which means they actually lived with the dinosaurs. Isn't that incredible? Crocodiles are oviparous. Look at these little guys who have just hatched from their eggs. They have very strong muscles on their tail and they use them to move in the water. On land, on the other hand, they aren't so fast and they walk very slowly on their four feet. The crocodile's lungs are enormous. They can hold their breath for up to six hours underwater. They're fantastic divers. Crocodiles regulate their body temperature depending on how hot or cold it is. That's why they love sunbathing by the river's edge. They are also carnivorous creatures. When they are young, they eat crabs, frogs, insects, and other small animals. But as they grow older, they ate fish and large mammals and prey on lost and confused animals like this poor rodent. Whoa, he only just managed to escape. Phew! Crocodiles hunt and move stealthily underwater so as not to alert their prey until all of a sudden, bang! They leap out of the water at top speed and grab their victim with powerful jaws. Do you know how many teeth crocodiles have? They have almost 80 sharp teeth. But because they use them so much, some actually fall out. But this isn't a problem because they soon grow back again. They can have up to 3,000 teeth during their lifetime. Look, look, watch how it hunts. Crocodiles can live up to 80 years, but many don't reach that age. Yes, it's true that crocodiles can pose a threat to us humans, but sadly human beings are a much greater threat for crocodiles. Crocodiles are hunted and their skin is used to make wallets, shoes, belts, bags and many more things. And crocodile meat is a speciality in a lot of countries. They have completely disappeared in a lot of places and in others they are sadly disappearing too. They are in danger of becoming completely extinct, but we must not allow this to happen. Even though they are a little bit scary, we cannot let crocodiles, or any other animal for that matter, disappear from their habitat. They are extremely important for nature's balance. So as always, from Happy Learning, we want to ask you to look after the environment as well as all living creatures, since all of them no matter how dangerous or insignificant they may seem, are crucial for life's balance, they are crucial for nature. Bye friends, see you in the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.